Hi everybody, we are in the city of Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're going to talk about what's going on here in the real estate market in Atlanta, Georgia. Stay tuned. This is Gamalia Sturgis, the broker with Sturgis Realty Group. And I'm Alan Rios on the Realtor with Sturgis Realty Group. Thank you for watching and remember to click like and even subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to talk about what's going on in the market here in Atlanta, Georgia. Boy, this market is crazy, Gamalier. We're going to talk how it's impacting sellers, buyers, and investors. And we'll start with sellers. If you're a seller here, you are going to make top dollar. The yeah, today market here in Atlanta is definitely a heavily seller market. Sure. People are getting multiple offers. Prices are going above the above uh, market pricing. So it's definitely people are fighting to find a home and the inventory is definitely very low. Yes, indeed. And if you're looking to buy property, I mean, negotiation is so key here when it comes to buying property right now with this hot seller's market because you have to find out what the sellers are looking for, right? Yes. And make sure that you can appease them in that way. But also, you know, you have to protect your buyer as well. It's very important that you work now with an experienced buyer agent who, could, who knows how to structure the deal correctly so they could, that deal could be accepted. There's a lot of strategies that we have in our toolbox that will help you to obtain that property and win that bet. Definitely. That experience definitely comes into a part when it comes to real estate, especially in this market if you're representing a buyer. Now let's talk a little bit about the, some of the projects that are going on around Atlanta, Camelier. It is amazing. There's so much going in Atlanta and you know, in the next 10 years, Atlanta is going to be a complete different city. Right now we're standing on the gulch. One of the uh, biggest investment going on here, which is actually a $5 billion, billion. investment by the same group, a group of developers from California. Yeah, the SIM group, they're investing a lot of money and also the city of Atlanta is providing a $2 billion tax incentive. Get that, $2 that billion. Amazing. It's the largest in the city of Atlanta's history. And there's gonna be a lot of interesting here because this, pro, this project here is gonna have hotels, it's gonna have residential, yep. it's gonna have retails and it's going to have a lot of green space also. Yeah, not only this project, we've got another project coming along and we've got a video on it, uh, the Bankhead video, where Microsoft is taking some of that property as well and making it a multi-use area with green space, uh, workspace. And the key here, here is both developments, the Microsoft one and in the Gulch, they're looking to contribute a percentage to affordable housing. Yes. So the neat thing about this construction and this type of uh, projects is it brings a lot of opportunity. Obviously, it transition, it changes the whole community in the areas. Right now, it's the opportunity to come in and actually buy in a project that is going to actually go up in value because when these oh, yeah. projects come along, obviously prices just start going up and we already see that in Bankhead. If oh, you, yes. If you watch that video, you will see a little bit more information what we're talking about. But obviously it's interesting that you want to come in if you're looking to buy something, if you're a first time home buyer looking to go in a cool place where you're going to be able to walk to retail, to stores, and you're not going to need your car, definitely look at those those places because definitely that's a good place to invest. If you're an investor looking to invest, yes. obviously it is a great location to invest, obviously because rentals is going to go up over time and prices are going to go up over time in those areas also. Yeah, those are the future areas of the Atlanta area. Now, if you're looking to move in now or if you're looking to sell now, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, loans and stuff like that, Gamalier. We'll take a look at that as far as conventional and FHA loans, you know, interest rates. So if we've got a buyer that's coming in on the market, what are we looking at as far as interest rates are concerned? Well, as far as FHA and conventional loan, it's running down at lower 3% right now. And obviously, if you're looking to invest, you'll be looking at interest rate between 4 to 5%. Yep. You know, the good thing about FHA is only you have, only had to put 3.5% down to be able to buy a home. Conventional has a program that you only have to put 3% down. And then as far as investment, you typically have to put a 20% down. Yeah, a little bit more just because the, it's a riskier investment. So you have to put down at least 20 to 25% down when it comes to investment properties. But a lot of buyers who are looking to buy residential homes to live in, you know, a lot of them think they have to put down 20% down. So they get scared when I talk to them and I say, no, there's programs out there that allow you to put as low as 3%. Yes. Sometimes you can even get 0% financing, Gamalier. Yeah, there's still a lot of opportunity if you're a buyer, even though it's a seller market, because interest rate being so low, 
What well, allow is that it keeps your payment lower because sure. when you have a low interest rate, this the lowest that's been in a long time. Yep. Typically, you know, interest rate, if you look at the average, they look in the 6% range. We're actually in the 3% right now, so that's super low. So you, there's a lot of affordability of housing. You're able to buy a bigger home and more because you have a lower interest rate. That is correct. So, you know, getting a full understanding of the market is really important. That's where Gamalier and I come in and we can help educate you on what's going on and provide you all the nitty gritty details of all the projects going on and the different neighborhoods around Atlanta. Definitely. So if you're looking to buy, sell or invest in real estate or want to find out more information about certain communities, we have a series of video here that you can watch in YouTube too. Oh yeah. And also obviously you could give us a call. We'll be glad to help you with all that also. All right. I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other videos that we cover around Metro Atlanta and also other real estate topics. Take care. Have a good day.